Cool, moving on to uh, you know footwear, boots, and then bags for while you're out fishing. Um, starting with the feet, uh, probably the, the majority of what's uh, going to be needed for Belize are going to be these you know soft, you know kind of dive style booties. You know, Orvis has their Christmas Island booty, uh, Sims with their Zip It booty. Um, you know, good sole, usually a zipper right there. That's going to uh, you know be easy on and off. Uh, why? I like these uh, for most situations in Belize. Um, you're in and out of the boat. Uh, you, know, you pull up to a flat. Oh, there's some permit. Let's get out and walk to them. Um, you're probably not wearing these the whole time you're fishing. So, you know, being able to, you know, slip them on quick. You're out. You're on the flats and you're walking. Um, those are going to be probably my favorite for Belize. Um, other ones that are also important to consider. Uh, if you have you know, foot and ankle issues, or uh, you're a place like the Turn of a Toll where, you know, really, you know, walking a lot or most of the day um, is feasible, uh, something a little bit more substantial, you know, whether it's, you know, the, the River Salt from Patagonia, uh, the Flat Sneaker from Sims, um, both are great, you know, non-marking soles, um, they're going to protect your feet, you know, either one of these, you, know, you can lace them up tighter, um, so if you do have, you know, bad ankles or bad feet, you know, Sims makes a, an insole you can stick in there. Um, so any of those situations, you know, that's going to be the way to go. Uh, I'd say, you know, kind of everything else, um, having the, the, the easy on off is, is going to be the way to go with kind of the zip on style boot. Um, you know, if you are looking for something a little bit more substantial, um, you know, you've got this boot and then you're going to want to throw in. You know, whether it's a, you know, kind of a gator sock or, or even just a, you know, good pair of socks. Um, sand's going to get in there and, and it's going to rub on your feet. And, um, you know, as far as being comfortable for the whole trip, um, last thing you need is a bunch of blisters and, and sore spots on your feet. Um, cause that's, you know, whether you're you know, wearing your flip flops around the, the lodge or, um, you're getting to, you know, put stuff back on and go for a walk. Um, you want your feet to be in good shape. So. You know, pairing, you know, some, some socks or, you know, the full on, you know, neoprene style with a gravel guard uh, to keep things out uh, is going to be the way to go uh, with these bigger ones. Um, you know, other stuff that's important, you know, a pair of flip flops to have for kicking around the lodge. You know, Crocs are great. Uh, stuff like that, just, you know, for the downtime, but, but fishing specific, um, these are going to be the, the way to go. Uh, for bags, uh, you know, having a bag that, uh, not only you can work out of while you're, you know, riding around on the boat, um, something to keep your stuff in. Um, if you are going to be out and walking wade, um, or if you're a DIY kind of person and, and you're going to be out, you know, fishing on your own somewhere, um, having a good bag is important. Um, I would say, you know, of the three styles, uh, the most important thing is going to be waterproof. You know, kind of we touched on with the flies, salt water can can wreak havoc on, on a lot of different stuff. So, you know things that have you know, good waterproof zippers um, is important. Um, and then it's a lot of personal preference. Uh, you know, you've got your you know, shoulder bag, you know, fanny pack style, which is great. You can you know, slide it out of the way when you're casting and fishing. Um, get a little bit bigger. It's gonna be your sling style pack that you, know, you wear over your shoulder and you know, sling it around this way. Um, but again, waterproof, you know, these big T-zips, um, kind of just whatever you personally like and, and how much stuff you like to bring. You know, something small like this, a couple fly boxes, you know, maybe you wrap your rain jacket up into there, small water bottle. Um, you know, that's going to be a little bit more, you know, lighter duty. This one, definitely, you know, you can strap an extra rod on there and then you know, waterproof backpack. Uh, all the companies make their different versions. Um, you know, Fish Pond, Patagonia, Sims. Um, I personally like the backpack um, most just because uh, you know, if you are getting out and walking, you can bring a lot of what you need. If it's a sustained wave trip, um, you can pack your rain jacket, your water bottle, your camera, um, you know, extra stuff, all your fly boxes. You know, backpack is going to be, you know, more versatile uh, way to go. Uh, I also like it for travel. So, you know, that's my carry on. That's what my, you know, stuff I'm carrying on the plane, uh, in addition to, you know, any rods and stuff like that. Um, you can fit it all in the backpack, easy to travel with. 
Um, and then when you get there, you know, double duty. You're not, you know, having a carry-on bag plus this stuffed into a checked bag uh, or this stuffed into, you know, a bag inside of a bag. Um, so I think there's a little bit more versatility out here uh, and then a little bit more specialization um, when you get to, you know, the, the, the sling style or, or the, the hip pack style bag. So that covers, you know, bags and footwear. Uh, we'll go into, you know, a little bit more travel specific, uh, checked luggage, bigger bags, you know, carrying rods, that type of thing next. You know, choosing the right bag and size considerations and, and stuff like that um, that are always important. Uh, you know, I, I like, you know, kind of a little bit smaller duffel bag. Uh, I'm typically carrying my rods on with me, uh, so they don't need to be checked. Little simple waterproof duffel bag um, is a really good way to go. Uh, a lot of the transfers involve some sort of boat ride um, or, you know, bag could be sitting outside, you get a rainstorm. Um, so having something that's going to keep your stuff dry. Uh, you know, last thing you need is to show up and, um, you know, if there was a leak in the water taxi that nobody knew about and your bag was sitting in three inches of water uh, going to Key Cocker, um, you know, not really that much fun. So definitely something that's waterproof uh, or, or very water resistant, uh, I would recommend. Um, you know, you're going to have to follow the same, you know, size guidelines as you would traveling domestically. Uh, so, you know, 50 pound bag, uh, anything over than that. Um, you're going to have to pay, you know, overweight bag fees or oversized bag fees. Uh, and on some of those, you know, little hopper flights, um, it may mean your bag's not going to be on the same plane as you. Uh, you know, the bigger it is, you know, they might have to put it on a different plane if you're on a full one or something. So uh, try to keep everything together um, and not going overboard on size uh, is important. Uh, you know, for some places, you know, Belize, uh, less so, but definitely, you know, some other countries down there, uh, you may not be able to carry your rods home. They may make you check them. So uh, being prepared, having, you know, this type of case that's got some rigidity and structure to it to protect your stuff. Um, it's lockable, which is nice. Um, little zip tie or travel lock, uh, just to kind of keep everything together is great. Uh, you know, another way to do it, um, you know, if I'm on a, a longer trip or, uh, you know, I just don't want to deal with it coming home, uh, I'll use something, you know, bigger duffel bag that I can actually, you know, fit one of these rod carrying devices into and then just check the whole thing. Trip's over. I'm just going home. You know, if the bag's a day or two late is what it is. Um, you know, having a bag that's big enough to accommodate it uh, is important. And, um, you know, again, waterproof. Uh, these fish pond bags are nice because they've got, you know, backpack straps in addition to the handles and shoulder straps. So you can, you know, carry it however it is. If you gotta, you know, walk from the water taxi dock to the taxi cab, uh, you're not having to slap a bag over your shoulder. You can just throw it on like a backpack. Um, but yeah, those would be, you know, other important things to keep in mind uh, as you're traveling, uh, just to keep your gear safe and, and convenient when you're down there.